Welcome back to another video guys. We are pulling up to Nathan's house today and this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's kind of going to be like a regular race video where I just put you guys on the GoPro and pretty much go through a race. So that's kind of what we're doing today at his house. Um, I think it'll just be me and him and we're pretty much just it'll be good practice getting ready for the season and everything that yeah, should be should be fun I'm probably gonna be pretty muddy because it rained like all day yesterday so um, ready for some mud and some good racing so I guess we'll get on to it <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're about to start the race here. Alright, so right there my bike fired up pretty fast, but I was on a super slick spot and just didn't pick a good spot. We were kind of just getting out there ready to start, so we didn't really worry about where to start or anything like that. And I just picked a bad spot, so messed up the start there, but we're going to find out here in a second that's going to be just fine for a couple reasons. Okay, so this is the first reason here. Watch up ahead on uh, Nathan here. Boom, splashing through those puddles like, man, these puddles are crazy big and we kind of battled with this all day, but it definitely got better throughout the day. Um, we were actually just racing here for, I think the total time was actually like three hours. So um, this track is nowhere near as rough as the GNCC, but that's how long we rode for. And um, we just don't do this very often, but we figured it'd be good before the season to get, get one in. but. It was a pretty chilly morning, and our hands got wet and cold, so <laughs> we're about halfway through the lap here, and our hands are struggling already. About 10 minutes into the three-hour race. Now I'm taking all the puddles straight to the hand. I didn't even think about it before we started, but I should have worn my waterproof gloves. Um, the top of them are waterproof, so it would have helped so much, but didn't even think about it. My hands weren't really cold at first, and just wore regular gloves, but messed up there. So right here, the old trail went to the left there, and then, um, there's some trees that actually came down, so Nathan knew where he was going, but I didn't, so that's another reason why I should have kept letting Nathan go first, but ended up being okay. So we got turned around, got back on the trail, and we're behind him now. Back in the second. Alright, so right there is the first of the kind of creek crossing that we went through. They were a little scary at first, definitely because we didn't know how deep they were gonna be and we didn't do a practice lap or anything, so it was a little scary. And you didn't want to splash right through them just because the water was cold and our hands were already freezing, so didn't want to make it any worse. But we're going through this first lap here and kind of on the single track section of this. Um, there's kind of two parts to this trail. A little bit earlier you saw the wider stuff that was a little bit more open. And then this is um, just kind of single track and fast and flowy though still. So after my little off-course excursion there, uh, Nathan got out in front a little bit here, but you can you can still see him up there ahead if you look ahead. And um, so I'm just kind of watching him and 
we're just kind of getting the flow of things right now. Not really pushing too hard, but trying to learn the track a little bit this first lap and get warmed up and everything. So. Then right here, through this section here, is a pretty cool little log jump. And then um, you can see all these trees down and actually there was a tornado that went through there so all those trees were down from a tornado and it was actually pretty cool riding through there it's kind of more open and you can just see forever and then we go down this hill here and you can see still the trees are just knocked over everywhere and this right here was probably the most water out of everything um, Going into that, I was a little concerned, but I was happy Nathan was in front of me, and he probably knew the trail a little bit better than I did, so I was glad to be following him there, for sure. This section of the trail here is actually um, a new part. Since it's all new and fresh, there's not really any tracks in it, so it's really slick. And as you can see, as we get back on the older trail, it's more gravelly and more established, so we had a lot more traction on this stuff than we did the new stuff. By the end of the day, though, that new stuff got a little bit better and kind of got a groove through it, so that was good to definitely have a groove on the off-camera stuff. That section through there was kind of like a roller coaster going up and down those hills um, before the video started. But it was just up and down the whole time. But here we finished, finished our first lap and trying to shake the hands out here and get them warmed up and a little bit dried off before we start our second one. So I just went by Nathan there and now he's just going to follow me this lap. So starting this one. I'm leading it and Nathan's in behind me, but our hands were definitely a little chilly after that one. And it's not that it was really that cold outside, so I didn't really bundle up or worry about any of that. It was just a puddle. And after the cold water got on our hands, it was downhill from there. So after this first one there, starting to feel a little bit better and starting to get the flow of things here. And you guys can probably tell the intensity is definitely a little higher on this lap. Alright, so from about this point on, this is what the camera looked like the entire time. So no matter how much I wiped it, it just kept smearing and kept getting worse. So um, this is kind of going to be the end of this video here. But um, how it ended was me and Nathan were pretty much right together. I had to end up stopping for gas more than, or I had to stop for gas and he didn't. So um, that was kind of how he made that last pass on me. Um, right here I'm in the lead, but he ended up passing me, so, and then we kind of stayed together for the rest of the time, so it was definitely good practice, and fun day of riding, even though our hands were a little cold, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. Peace.